where are we at? Right. Apologies, everybody, for all this going on. But we are back in this race, lap 28 of the race now, and a lot has just happened. Because Lincoln is down in 15th for some reason. Having just pitted, I'd imagine. I'm, again, I really apologise for being really out of the loop in this race, but having some internet troubles around my area. Hopefully, we don't get any more and we can have a race finishing on our hands. If someone could give me a rundown of what's happened, why Lincoln is 15th and just pitted, Cornet as well, would be very, very good. Oh, Lincoln crash, binned it. Okay, thank you, Rage Quit. So Rogue is in the lead. Tons of penalties, though. And is currently not going to win this race. Odd oh, Manzi's in the net lead. Hippo is currently in third, but on 12 seconds as well. And then you've got Dano right behind Josh in the battle for fourth place. So something has obviously happened to Lincoln while well, I've been having my issues. So he's down in 15th as Dano gets, picks up another penalty here. That rogue has got a pretty solid lead. Ah, so Mills, he's currently in 7th. Now Mills, he, as it stands... Okay, corner came into... Fresh tyres on that 25. Thank you, Rage Quit. Right, so. Oh, there's Dano! Dano trying to lunge it on Josh. Josh going for a chasm of room on the outside there. Oh, but climbing back across, squeezing him a little bit. And. Oh, and again! Again, Dano trying to lunge it. Trying to catch Josh off guard and. Thank goodness Josh has given him all the room in the world to make it work. Through turn six, we're going to get a battle out of all of this. This is for fourth place, and Dano trying to go on the outside. Side-by-side -side stuff in the damp conditions, and he's made it all the way around the outside. Nicely done from Dano, but Josh is still there. Still there as Roe pits off 15 seconds, as does Hippo. So they're going to drop back. Old Manzi still in the net lead of this race. And where's his nearest challenger? In terms of penalties, I think he's massively up there. Mike's going to leap up as well. Trap limits are interesting, but as it stands, with six laps to go, despite Lincoln down in 15th place, obviously had a nightmare somewhere, Millsy's not doing enough. I don't think. Um, it's behind old Manzi. Actually, no, he might be he might be third, but he needs second. Third, I don't think, will be enough. 15, 39 point lead. 15, we'll go to 24 point. Nah, it'll be just enough by two points to take it to China. That's if he finishes where he is. I mean, late. Yeah, Matty, late safety guard would be fantastic. And I'm just hoping my uh, internet holds out because I've had it cut on me twice through this evening, which is great, but apparently Sky, which is one with, is having issues in my area. So very unstable at the moment, but hopefully we can last for another five laps. We want to see a finale at least. Lincoln's not getting in the points. Unless there's one final twist, is, as Matty said, a late safety car. So as penalties stand, there's 12 seconds, so yeah, Rogue's not doing enough. Rogue has got a very decent get. <gasps> safety car! Cornet's out! Massive off! Oh my god! What's happening? Yes! Big safety car! Has he hit Desbro? This is huge! This is absolutely huge! Lincoln could still get in the points. Oh my god! Safety car lap 31. Cornet with a massive off. Did he hit the AI car? He must have done. Because his... Oh, he must have hit Desbro in a, such a huge way. <laughs> Matty, if that's a commentator's curse. It's a viewer's curse. Well, this is... Well, this is massive. Rogue... Well, this is going to... Well, it's going to hurt Rogue, Hippo and Dano, the huge penalties. Mike? Visa Mike is... Wow. 
Yeah, but you was enjoying that corner. You were coming up. And yeah, this Lincoln all of a sudden can maybe get a few points. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. The late twist. Drama. Desmo Pitts. Why is Desmo pitting? Has he got wing damage? Was he. Press tyres? Oh, yes, because look at everyone else's tyres. He's fresh he's lost strap position, though. All of a sudden, Mike could be in the net lead. Oh, this is... Nah. Nah. Oh, I, th I think, um... Cornet, I think Desbro's in AI mode. I think. Uh, he's behind Button. Yeah, you see? He's got the red X. I think he's been AI mode for quite some time. He did come back briefly, though. I think he's having the same problem as me, basically. So, I oh, said AI. Never mind. Yeah, so that so that AI of Desbro has wrecked Millsy's evening, and it's also completely destroyed Cornette's evening. But in terms of everyone else who's penalty free, this is this is massive. Yeah, good for Loco as well. But. Oh, jeez. This hater car is going to be in for... Or out for at least another lap. Right, so... Chris sticks Millsy on three seconds each. You've got Mike and Button, who will leap up massively. Rogue, Hippo, Dano, they're out of the podium. There's, They're fighting amongst themselves who's going to get the best position. Um... Josh, nine seconds, he'll drop a little bit. Fishsticks and Millsy, they need to get a three second gap over Mike. Manzi could be on for still for still for a podium. The, 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 the top ten is going to be anybody's. Podium is anybody's. Mike's got to stay out of trouble. Mike could win this race. Oh boy. Button could leap up. Again, Lincoln could get, get back in the points. Remember, Millsy needs minimum second and Lincoln out of fifth. This all rides on the last three laps and still we got, we're waiting on Lincoln actually. Catch up, so we may be in on this lap. So we're going to have three laps left. Will Mike play the game is the question, yeah. How... how um, connected as a teammate is Mike to Millsy. Because Mike could fight Millsy. We can have another lap under the safety car. Is Lincoln... Is Lincoln holding back so he can get another lap? In a way, he would. I think he's, he's actually... He's not gaining. So we've got to have another lap, so... Oh, is FAI like Sunday again? In terms of tight... Yeah. Everybody's tyres are going to be not great, either. Just to add that into the mix. I mean, old, old man's he's on zero lap tyres. And the people ahead of him are on 17 lap tyres. So Manzi could still be a factor here. It depends how aggressive he can be. Has the tyre life. To try and do it. But yeah, we're going to have two laps of racing. We're going to be starting lap 35 of 36. Anything can happen here. Anything can happen in this very frustrating evening of mine where my internet has cut off twice. Second part even more because obviously I missed what happened to Lincoln and Cornette and a few others. Rogue would be kicking himself. What is going on back here? Oh, Locker and Locker Lincoln. Five second penalty for the pair of them. Well, that's that's Rhett Lincoln's chances. Also, also possibility for Stewart to try and take that off. But it looks like they were getting all sorts of kerfuffle there for turn three, and that's not helping Lincoln at all. Safe to go in this lap. Right. So, as long as Mike stays out of trouble, keeps his pace up. Mike could win this race. Button could be on the podium, although Fishsticks, Millsy, Manzi, they're all on podiums as well, as long as they don't get other penalties. 
rogue hippo and Dano, they just got to race as hard as they can and hope for shenanigans behind. They're ready for the restart. Rogue has, Rogue has gone already. Rogue has gone already. Caught Hippo off completely off guard. So he's got a couple of seconds. Don't know what Hippo's doing. A green flag, Hippo. Go. All right. So Rogue is uh, Rogue is gone. Josh is looking at the back of Dano as we're back under racing for two more laps of this race. Manzi already looking at Chris. Remember, Manzi is already pitted. He's on two lap tyres against Chris. There is 18 lap tyres. And away we go once again. Mandy can get back on the podium if he's aggressive. Going around the outside of turn three. There's a car park ahead of Josh and the two house drivers. The Ferrari Fishers. Millsy! Millsy off! Millsy off. Did he get damage? Massive slide for Millsy and he's dropping backwards. It is wing damage. Millsy had a chance to take this. Oh, and you could chow and squeezing sauce. Chow being uber aggressive on source. I think it's gone for Millsy. He's got damage. Millsy's out of it. Lap and a half to go. Rogue has a two second lead. And Millsy's, yeah, dropped behind Lincoln. So as it stands, Lincoln is going to be the F4 champion. He's had one of the worst races. I think his points record might go. Might depend on penalties. But he's doing enough. Millsy. It's been clipped twice in this race now. And no points for either of them. Potentially, Millsy, uh, Manzi, sorry, has got by Chris. Eventually, he's up to seventh. Mike is still in the... going for his first win. Because he's doing more than enough to keep up with the five ahead of him, and he's no penalties at all. Podium is anybody's. Podium is going to be an absolute mismatch. As Chris... What is going on with Chris? Chris is struggling. You got uh, Kachal, also button penalty free as well, is going to leap up. But Kachal's trying to go around the outside of Chris, under turn four. Chris, his tyres is really struggling. Kachal is also in the same as Old Man. Mills, Chris is struggling. Chris is sliding about all over the place. Button has got. Oh, Chris is round. Chris is spun. On the last lap, Chris has spun out. His tyres were absolutely shot. Button is up into ninth ahead of Source. Rogue is going to cross the line in first place. Where's he going to end up? I think Mike is going to win this. Penalty free. Safety car has thrown him the luck of the dice. What's this top 10 going to be like? Because I have absolutely no idea. But it's going to be Mike who wins. Fishstick second, is it? Fishstick second, button third. Lincoln actually gets 10th. Somehow scrapes a point. Continues his point scoring record and provisionally at least is your F4 driver's champion. Millsy, you got to feel for him. Finishes in the pit lane. 13th he will be and Chris as well who got clipped on that last lap will not be very happy at all. Oh boy, look at that top three. F bizarre Mike. Fish sticks and button the top three. Manzi missed out on a podium by two tenths of a second. So close. Kachal fifth. Meister sixth. Rogue seventh. Dano eighth. Locker ninth. Lincoln somehow, after being right at the back and being in all of that mess for the last two laps, and he got penalties as well, ends up tenth at a point and your F4 champion. Because his gap is now 40 points. Obviously very much provisionally. But I don't think Millsy will gain any positions. Remember Millsy needed a minimum second. He's had very bad luck in this race. With obviously the AI for Desbro. And that um, last lap as well. And the exit of turn three. I don't know whether he made contact or anything. But, but Mike. Call it luck. Call it keeping out of trouble. But he has done it. Getting his first... Must be his first win, surely. Have a look at... Yes. First win. First podium as well. 13th on the grid. Great stuff. Fistic second. And Button in third place. Manzi missed out on the podium by a couple of attempts. Manzi... Got one penalty. Was he penalty free? I'm sure he maybe was penalty free until right to the end. <laughs> Rogue run. Screw the pens. 
Can't screw the pens. I mean, if, if penalties didn't count, me and Cornish for a second would be multiple race winners this season, but... Uh, what a frustrating evening. Well, a lot of these people, including myself, Cornet out as well, Joker, Rage Grip, Desbro as well. Cornet, though, causing that very late safety car. Changed the game all of a sudden. <laughs> Mad. Right, here we are. Uh, where do we have it? We played with a button of his sticks. Chris, none of that in the chat, please. You know better than that. And start causing mischief. Naughty, naughty Chris. I know you DC. Still. Right. Um, is Mike going to join us? Please, Mr. Mike. I'll give him one more. Hopefully he does, but I'll give him one more. Uh, I'm not sure if the invites are working 100%. Uh, not they didn't pop up on my screen, so... He is asking if there is an idea, and I'll just I'll tell him to join off me. Yeah. Don't know if you noticed, but I've having, been having all sorts of issues tonight. So... Apparently Sky is having trouble yeah. in my area, so... Lovely. Right, we'll wait for a bit. Um, yeah, I thought audio guys would be. Uh, but I mean, if it's, it's up to him if he wants to join. No, so. say he, um, he he says he's not. He, he doesn't really have content with Sam. I was just saying he's no pressure. Don't worry, he doesn't want to do it. Okay, no worries. I'm sure he's happy anyway. Yeah. Um. He's he's typing. Right, so third is. So I'm a bit. My pain's a bit confused. Third, third is button, isn't it? Yeah. And fish stick second. Yeah. yeah. I thought so. Right. Um, right. We start with button in the Aston Martin. Now, you have to bear with me, button, because I've uh, disconnected twice in that race. Right. Um, internet just cut twice. And once at the start of the race, and then midway through. So I lost a good six, seven laps, I think midway part so you kind of bear with me it's not just hard to be a first safety car but um a decent race from yourself obviously that late safety car causing a lot of drama yeah um and obviously because you were low on penalties a podium was possible um and you got it in in the end only just by a couple of tenths over old manzi um but crazy crazy race obviously in the rain as well um just talk us through because you, I think you can give a better recap than I have. Uh, it was quite a mad race. Uh, started off alright. It was a bit of a procession. Uh, overtaking was hard because there was no DRS, of course. So everyone was just following each other around. And then personally, I had a, I don't know if I had contact with Dano or what. I don't know, but it doesn't matter. It was only an accident. Uh, and put me a long way back. Um, oh, yeah. Remember that. Yeah, sorry. So I was... I don't know, 20, 30 seconds behind, and I thought, well, here we go, every time I get disconnected from the group, there's never a safety car, but one did come out, uh, changed my tyres, and then decided to stay on them to the end, and just hang on at the end, 
trying to keep it clean because uh, I, I was being told that everyone had a lot of penalties in front of me. So it's just a case of trying to keep it clean and keep close. Uh, it was a crazy old race. There's people spinning off everywhere. <laughs> it's enjoyable. Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember that exit, exit of turn three. I think um, he just got a uh, tad better traction than you, and that, that sort of was living was malicious. No, no, no. It's fine. But yeah. Um, but yeah, very decent recovery, and as you said, uh, just held on to the end. Um, let's look at that. That is your one, two, three, four, five, sixth podium this season, which is a pretty decent record. Yes, yeah, that's bad. Obviously, I don't know whether you knew um, you still had a mathematical chance on the title going into this, but yeah, you needed I needed to win, to win and fastest, fastest lap. lap. Yeah, that's never been right. In the yeah. dry, maybe we'd have just a little chance, but never in the wet. I, I just yeah. don't like the wet at all. Um, obviously, we've got one more race to go in China. How would you say your season has gone? It's been pretty, pretty solid from uh, my point of view. It's been from an outsider. Yeah, it's, it's been consistent. I only had one no score, and that was when I got taken out of the last last lap at Silverstone last corner yeah, but, yeah. Uh, so I managed to score every week so consistent but not not quick enough to be honest not quick enough there's some there's some very quick guys in there Kachow, Cornet uh, keeping up with them is difficult but I've, I've enjoyed it because I've you know I've kept myself in the points most weeks so it's been an enjoyable season but not best for me um, what's your thoughts on China oh. uh, next week um you haven't had a win so far been close a couple of times yeah. second second three times in the last six races by the looks of it yeah there's no monaco um, was there that's why <laughs> oh yeah because street specialists aren't you so uh <laughs> uh china um, so, no, I'd, I, yeah. I'd never do well at china i just can't get on with it i struggle a couple of turns there and uh, it's probably normally my setup i'll have a go but i'm not expecting much from it to be honest all right, all the best to you. Thank and you. obviously, again, congrats on your uh, team championship. At least you got a trophy to your name next season. Yeah, thank you. All right, good stuff. Well, I'll fish. All right, cheers, man. All right, speaking of fish sticks, we head to our second place driver in the Ferrari, Mr. Fish Sticks. Um, again, like what I said to Button, I'm a little bit, my head's all over the place, kind of over that race. Um, Kind of a slow burner as well in terms yeah. of um, possession builds. Um, but again, because of the late safety car, found yourself in a great position. I feel very sorry for your teammate because it kind of um, we're into solid points position for him and he no, does yeah. need the luck. He does, yeah. So it was good to see him up there for most of the race, actually. So, yeah, it's a shame that the penalty sort of took a little bit of the edge off of that for him, though. Yeah. Um, in terms of your your race and your result, this equals your best position because you had second in Mexico. Um, yep. pretty, pretty decent from your end, um, similar to Button, I guess. Uh, yeah, it was pretty quiet race. I, in all fairness, I was following those three F5 guys the entire race. That was, that was me the entire race. I just saw the back of those three, and that was it. I just couldn't just it was just because obviously we in wet with no DRS. I was just there, and I was just hoping that they didn't. I you know. Being, you know, I was just hoping I wasn't getting collected in anything. I just sort of kept it quiet, and somehow managed to stumble into a P2. So, just, I wasn't, I was, uh, was not expecting it at all, really. Yeah, uh, decent qualifying as well. Um, again, similar to Button, you've had a very solid season. Um, didn't have the best of uh, starts, France no. and Belgium, and then. But then the names start picking it up. Um, how would you say your season has has gone? Because you've been you've been here and there, here and there, and the consistency has been there. It's just obviously the the guys ahead, the Cornets, the Cachals, the Lincoln, Millsy, too consistent, and the pace is uh, yeah uh, pretty, pretty difficult. No, yeah, I'd say um, I say I'm uh, I'm improving season on season. This is still better than what I did last season. Uh, so yeah, the consistency is getting better. The two DNFs didn't help at the start, but no, yeah, I'd say I've been there or thereabouts, and yeah, it's it's it's, it's I, I'm improving in my own pace as well. So, no, yeah, it's been it's been a good solid season, so I'm I'm quite happy with it. So. Um, China last week. Um, you, you touched on a few of the F5 drivers there. Um, I think they didn't do really anything malicious and no, no, pretty no. decent. 
that like I can say it's just that it's people un it's an un it's an unknown variable. It's nothing against them. It's obviously I just don't know I'm not used to them, that's basically it, so it's always so I was just a bit a bit cautious, as I say. Yeah. Obviously, um it's not my call cool one whether people people like yourself stay in F four or go to F three or so on and so forth. But again, I guess uh going into next season being the longest season in our history and probably anybody's history, twenty three races, I guess consistency is gonna be high in the agenda for yourself. You gotta you gotta start strong, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I could say uh, hopefully I can uh, eliminate the silly DNFs behind safety cars and stuff like that that I've done. Uh, but yeah. But no, um no yeah, it's gonna be a long season. So even if you have a bad start, it's not completely over because obviously there's so many races, you can easily pick it back up, so um, any section of calendar you're particularly looking forward to? Uh, Monaco. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I assume not... we're going from, you know, what the game says, apart uh, from maybe China, maybe slotting in somewhere. Uh, uh, the new track, uh, Imola and Portugal. I like, uh, I like just to see what it's like there. Jeddah, I don't really like. Uh, Canada. <laughs> Canada, Japan. Uh, they're always fun. Uh, actually, being able to race Silverstone this year because I had to miss it uh, next season. Uh, next season, I had to miss it this season because of the way. I always like going. Um, no, yeah. I say I, I, there are a few tracks I don't like too much, uh, but no, I say they're most of it is all right. So as long as the racing's fun, that's really the main thing for me. All right then. Um, well, we're on your second place, and oh, uh, good luck China next week. Yeah, yeah, and uh, congratulations to Mike and uh, Bunda for your podiums. Cheers, Mike. All right. And obviously, I was hoping Mike would join us. I'm sure he's very happy. I believe that is another new winner that we joined the RSF1 club, which I'm a part of. Amazingly, considering it's been a long time, but there you go. Um, I'm sure he's very, very happy of it. But. We head to our final interviewee or interview person for this tonight because obviously provisionally, although I don't think much will change to reverse the result unless an FIA decision come into it or protest against it or whatever. But we have our F4 drivers champion and it is Lincoln here. And somehow Lincoln, you keep your point scoring rep <laughs> record by the skin of your teeth. I don't know how. <laughs> I, I missed what happened. Um, <sighs> what happened? Oh, and because lovely. I returned. I returned and all of a sudden you were like, oh, why are you down there? Well, we had a safety car and goes in and a lovely Desbro AI was in the way. So oh, no. I go and pass him because obviously he's lapped, so he's slowing down. And the game says, get a position back. So I'm like, well, what the hell am I doing? And then spin it on first corner because I was all in a panic. Oh, you might have uh, gone off track to overtake it, hence why. Although if it's a lap down, I don't... It I don't think It just went horrible. It was just like, what's the point? What's the point in that being there? <laughs> but yeah, it's what it is. Couldn't do it about it. Well, fair enough. But obviously, Milzy needed second. He had... A horror show. You even got clipped by the same AI car you were trying to pass of Desbro, yeah. um, which is just the way things go with technology and so on. Um, which is obviously a shame for him because I, obviously you would admit as well he's been a very worthy adversary as of his, as has everyone else in this division. Yeah. Um, the thing is, obviously, a lot of people have said, even from the beginning, that you're not an F4 driver, and even <laughs> if that is the case, wow, you're yeah. Consist your consistency, you've deserved it, in my humble opinion, because you still got to do the job, even if you're at the top end pace wise, you still got to do the job. <laughs> I've just tried to stay um, in the races, just get points. I know it all adds up. I need to me. learn now. I need to learn now. <laughs> it all adds up in the end. It does. It does. Um, as I said, this is your worst position that you finished in in tenth place, and I don't know how you've done it. <sighs> Safety um, car. Penalties and so on. Yeah, safety <laughs> car as well. Safety car and um, hippo, hippo rogue source getting in the way of people falling. <laughs> um, just a bit, just a bit. Obviously, on your um, your rivals for your championship. Obviously, Mills he's been there pretty much since the start. Um, you had Button there as well. Fish sticks, Cornet coming in, Kachow coming in as well. 
Yeah. Um, just just a few words on them. <laughs> Kieran was a tough battle. It's, it's been mental. I mean, Millsy from the start, and then we've had like a chat with his connection issue. So if he wasn't having them, he'd be challengers even now. Uh, then Cornet starts. Did he join late, or was he just having bad races at the start? He he joined, joined in, in Japan. The Belgium. Yeah. yeah, if he was a reserve in Belgium. Well, ten. Yeah, the so, first race, but didn't yeah. score until Singapore, which is like four races later. Yeah, we have, if he had a, had a better start, then it'd have been pushing us and all. He is rapid. Mm. Imran yeah. Kachau, going to be us next season. Yeah. Now, obviously, congrats on this season. It's wrapped it up, and I guess you can relax a little bit in China. Ish. Um, <laughs> I still want the points. Ish. <laughs> right, still on the point record. Point yeah. record, yeah. <laughs> um, funnily, funnily enough, actually, I believe Millsy, um, the guy you've been fighting with this season, uh, done it last season. That was kind of his uh, ingredient for his championship. Yeah. So, go learn from him. Let's talk briefly about next season. Yeah. Now, you can't hold back. You're F3. Yeah, well, I've got no choice. <laughs> you, should, you should be. Again, it's not my call. It's not my call. But the obvious thing is you can't stay in F4 no. because you've won it. So, so next season, you could be racing alongside uh, Slytherin, who you know. You yeah. could be racing alongside yet yeah, me. <laughs> Unless I get demoted. You don't no, know. no chance of that. Um, <laughs> yeah, no chance there. Um, who else could you be racing alongside? Eagle... Uh, yeah. I'm trying to pick out F3 drivers, and I'm completely forgetting them. I apologise, F3. I still be. Oh yeah, I's the best. Yeah. I's the best. You might even be joined by a lot of these drivers here, like Cornet, Kachal. One hundred percent. Two others. <laughs> I'm gonna so, say the top five should be all moved up. Well, again, yeah. not our call, but we'll but, see. No, no, no. Um, no but me, me and other dipheads. The aims. <laughs> aims anyway for yourself is a step up. Uh, a lot of people. Find it difficult to begin with, but I guess like this season, you're just going to finish races. Yeah, if I could be top ten, I'll be happy. See how it shapes up. Yeah. Who's your teammate? <laughs> I'd, I'd love to have a decent Calling teammate. It. <laughs> Calling it. Calling it. Me and you and a. I'd, um, leave, I'd leave. Ferrari. <laughs> Me and you, Ferrari. I'd have Mercedes again. It's nice. Uh, uh, can we make it silver? <laughs> like, don't like the. Black livery. Well, they won't change it. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, but yeah, congrats. Why am I saying congrats to you when you got tenth? I don't know, but um, title. Congrats on the champ. <laughs> yeah, title win. Title win. <laughs> For the love of everything, do not put title winner in your game tag or in your Discord name. You, you know it's everything. happening. You know it's happening. For God's sake, why? <laughs> <sighs> Because it's the only time All I'll right. ever get to do it. <laughs> if, you, if you're going to milk it, you might as well have a milkshake. So whatever, do it. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats, though. Cheers. Congrats, though. Um, F4 champion. Good luck next season. Thank you. You're going to need it. Yeah, I will need it. <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, right. That has been the F4 race around Austria. Massive apologies for everyone who stuck from the beginning to the end. Um, because obviously you disconnected twice throughout of that. I apologies, but we persevered. We got our result and we got our answer. Lincoln is the F4 champion. And everybody can relax a little bit as we head to our final round of the season, which is going to be China. Um, more than likely, probably F5 drivers will be taking part in that, and that will be a couple of days before Christmas Day. So, please join us. Um, yeah, it should be fun anyway. That is going to be our last race of Season 5 as well, as a whole of RSF1, before we can turn our attention to Christmas, New Year, and then Season 6. So make sure you join us. Um, Chris will probably want to race again. Competitive little person. Um... But yeah, hopefully he will have um, a good race as well as everyone else. China, though, is our last stop on the Season 5 calendar, and it all finishes off in Sunday for the F1. Um, let me just go through them all. Who still needs to be decided? F1's done, teams and drivers. F2 
who I think is done now, technically. I remember what was said at the end of that race, but uh, we'll cover that when we get to it. Um, F5 is done, which means the last definite one is F3 on Z Wednesday. Hopefully I'm racing this time. Um, I believe it's Cameron and Shane, so well, it's good. But it all kicks off in F1. Um, the last race of their season on the Sunday. I will see who is going to be commentating on that one. Should be Ben and Tomo this time. Um, Raikkonen and Timur and Blazer will finish off F2 on the Monday. F5 is obviously Rocket and Lincoln on the Tuesday. Wednesday is the F3, which should be Cornish and Immortal. And then me, probably by myself, um, hopefully not. Um, we'll finish off Season 5 and F4 China next week. 8 o'clock for all those days. And uh, as always, in this time, please be safe, take care of yourself, and see you for the finale next week.